In this presentation, we will categorize expenses to our estimated expense categories. Get ready, because here we go with zero. Here we are in our job cost and company dashboard. We're going to be going over to our projects once again. We're going to go into the all projects and then choose the project we're currently looking into, that being project number 15. So we'll go on into project number 15 here. And then if we scroll down on project number 15, you'll recall that we set up the uh, categories up top. Now we want to go through these items down below that are untracked and track them to a category. So now we have most of these are going to be like materials that are further categorized that we're going to be putting into the direct materials. Then we'll have the labor and the overhead. So we could do this one by one by hitting the three dots over here. And we could say that we want to uh, edit, edit this item. And then this is cement, and we would like to track that to the uh, direct materials estimate. And then I'm just going to keep it there. That looks good. I'm going to say save. And there we have that. And that moves it from the uncategorized here to the categorized up into the, into the direct materials. So let's go ahead and pick up all the direct materials. The other way we could do this is by checking the little checkbox over here. So we have the drop ceiling. That's direct materials. The marble is direct materials. The paint is direct materials. We're going to say uh, the staff. And these, notice again, these are the actual expenses we had down here that we're grouping now into the into the category. So this is the staff, not employees, but that, that stone, that artificial stone. Then the surface finishing. And then this is labor, so I'm not going to check that one off. This is overhead, not going to check that one off. Paint is materials. Wall covering is materials, so I'll check that one off. The good old stucco's material. And then there's that staff again. We needed two of those staffs. I thought you only needed one usually per project. But in any case, that's materials. Flooring. So flooring. Then we have the drop ceiling again. We dropped two ceilings. Well, that's Anyways. And then we have the ceramic tile. This is materials. Surface finishing. Then the direct labor again. Not going to be in here. Direct. Uh, this is indirect labor. That's overhead. Indirect materials. Overhead. Utilities is going into overhead. Rent is overhead. Depreciation is overhead. So these items here, I would like to assign them. I, I'm going to go down here now and track to an estimate. I want to put them into the estimate, and I want to put them under the uh, direct materials. So we're going to add those to the direct materials. If we then uh, scroll up and see what's in direct materials, there they are. There they are. We have now categorized them. Okay, so now we're going to be categorizing uh, the, the, let's do the direct labor, which we should only have a couple. Whoops, I don't want to do all of them. We want this direct labor and then direct labor here. And I think that's it for the direct labor. All the rest is overhead. So I'm going to go ahead and track that. So I'm going to take that and I would say track that to the direct labor estimate, please. And so then we have that. And now all the rest of it. So that's going to be up here now. Those two items that we just did right there. And then we're going to take all the rest of them. I'm just going to say, hey, check off all the rest of them if you would by hitting that little checkbox up top and then I'd say track that to the estimate we would like all of these then to go to the uh, overhead so now these are going to go to overhead and we'll say okay and apply those out and so now we've taken the actual costs and we've applied them out uh, to our categories here so the actual costs are now categorized as we would as we would have them in our estimates and this allows us to get a nice tracking by grouping this information. So now we have the direct materials estimate. We get those nice little things saying it's going to be uh, 8,000. We're 8,000 over the estimate in this category. We're 6,000 uh, remaining in this category and 2,980 over in uh, the overhead category. So that's going to be it for now. Let's get out of here.